so hey guys in this video i'm going to show a project that is ai resume analyzer i'm just going to show you a demo here i'm going to upload my resume and that's it and for the job description i'm going to linkedin and i just found this job so i'm just going to copy this job description and copy and paste and that's it and whenever I click on analyze it's going to analyze by comparing my resume with the job description and it's extracting the information and it's generating the scores so I have added two scores one is an ATS system and other is an AI generated system and the scores are generated successfully let's see the report first so that this is the report it's saying 4 out of 5 for the evaluation and the candidate has strong technical background yes and everything looks fine so here it gave me 1 by 5 because the candidate lacks designing curriculum yes I do and that's why right. so basically these are the scores for mine and also it's suggesting what to intro in my resume so it's saying to highlight any experience and all develop a portfolio consider taking courses and certifications and all so this was the thing and you can also download the report it will come as a text file so that's it guys this is the project so let's start with the installation part and then i will explain the coding so guys this is a github repo and link to this will be in the description you can check it out and coming to the just read all this basic stuff what it is and what it will do and so coming to the what this project will do as you saw earlier in the demo I'm going to give a resume and it's going to extract text from it and also I'm going to give job description as the input and coming to the ATS score similarity you as you saw earlier they are going to be two scores one is an ATS and one is the AI generated one for the ATS I'm using sentence transforms but model if you want you can use a different one that's fine and for the AI I'm using Crocs Llama model you can use another one if you want and coming to the feedback uh, as you saw it's also giving me suggestions right so personalized suggestions and download the report I can download the report if I want and why I have to use this tool because let's say I am applying for this job role if I apply I have to get shortlisted right by using this resume analyzer I can improve my resume and uh, based on the suggestions and apply this so that I can get shortlisted and many more things so these are the why I have to use this and so coming to the installation steps you can just copy this and clone your website uh, make sure you have git and python installed and after installing you can either clone the repository or you can go here click on the green button and download the zip file and extract the files from that and after extracting them just go into the folder then create a virtual environment this is optional but it is mandatory because to avoid dependency issues and once you have used uh, done this you have to activate it and just I'm going to show from here so I have deactivated it to show you and there you go now it's active and once this is active then you have to install the dependencies I'm not going to do that because I have already done that and make sure you have pip installed because without that it won't be installed and once the uh, it will take some time to install and load the uh, details so just wait for that and coming to the grok so for those who don't know what grok is grok is an api platform that provides llms with a free key so just go to google and search for grok and you can get the free api keys or you can check their website as well here you can see the, they are providing a free api key just go and create one and you will see a file something like this with .env it will be like this so remove this part and place your key there and that should be fine make sure to save that and once this is done you have to run the command and this is the command so I'm just going to copy this and run this and the file is run in the 8501 repository as shown here so that's it 
once this is done it will take some time to load after installing and loading it's going to show the output so just wait for the display and there you go so this is the output and now you are all set up and that's it with the project and now I'm, I'm going to explain everything about the code so that and also what changes you can make you can contact us if you want anywhere so that's it guys now let's start with the coding part so guys coming to the code first you have to do is change this as I said earlier you, you will get some key and it will be something like this and paste it here make sure to save it and once that's done I'm going to show the imports so the packages we are installing are streamlit which is for the web interface you can see here streamlit so that's the one and and PDF miner for extracting the text from the resume because we are uploading a PDF not a text so you had it has to uh, extract the text from that PDF and you can use a different package if you want like by PDF or anything I'm going with this because it's easy and sentence transformers for the generating embeddings of the text and cosine similarity to compare the scores grok for as I said earlier it's an API for LLM so for that I'm using that and R stands for regular expression to perform some NLP functions which I'll discuss and load env to load the environment key from the .env file and so I'm loading the environment and storing the key as API key variable and coming to the session states if you don't know what the st session state is it's going to save the current variable or you can say anything if you don't know what it is just ask ChatGPT it will tell you what it is and coming to the title I'm, I just gave the title you can change it as you want this one so you can change that and coming to the defining functions I'm not going to show right now because we'll see one by one so coming to the workflow starting once we open that it's going to show this page right so this is the form and I gave the form the name my form you can give whatever you want and this is a file uploader this part and we are mentioning the type to be PDF because if I meant if I give another file it's, it should not be extracting that and you can see automatically it took PDF but what if I put an image and it's saying not allowed so for that condition we are going to use this and I'm going to remove that and after that we have the job description we are, which we are taking in input for this if you want to change the, uh, the placeholder you can go and change it here here and coming to the form submission button you, I kept it as analyze here you can keep it as submit or anything you want and if the form is submitted it has to check that the fields are not in, uh, not empty because if they are we can't do anything right so if even if I try to analyze it it's going to say and warning here I kept it as warning if you want you can keep it as info or uh, error or anything you want and just if you don't know what about streamlit just go to uh, Google and click on streamlit you can see the job documentation streamlit documentation and there you go you will get all the kinds of details you want just go and browse from there and once uh, I'm giving the info as extracting information so this is the function to be called to extract the function to extract the text from the resume so let's see where it is and here it is so uh, I'm passing the uploaded file as a parameter and extracting the upload text from the file that's it and and once the form is submitted it's going to the next page that is generated scores so first it's going to show generating scores and once the scores are generated it's going to change it to score generates successfully and uh, coming to the function so calculate similarity birth I'm using this to convert the words into text into embeddings if you don't know about 
vector embeddings and all just go to some youtube video you will get a bit, uh, better visual understanding of that i am passing the resume and the job description both are text so let's see what hap what's happening there and this is the function for it so i am passing the two parameters that is resume and the job description now i am using sentence transformers and the model is all mpnet base v2 this is a part of base uh, bert model you can use bert or sbert or anything you want just go to hugging face and search for the models so you will get there and once the embeddings are generated i'm going to store them in the embeddings and one and two and find the cosine similarity cosine similarity does the comparison kind of thing so you can do that and i'm storing i'm returning the similarity score and i'm storing it is in the ats score and this is the columns because we need a structure output right so for that uh, we have to mention that few ideas uses this score because not all of them use only few use so just have to make sure we are mentioning that and we are getting the report from the LLM so we are passing the resume and job description so let's see what's happening there and here it is so initializing the graph line and passing the API key which we, we are taking from the .env and this is the prompt you can change the prompt as you want it doesn't matter according to your style you can change that and I'm passing it uh, to the LLM and the model I'm using is Llama if this model does not exist go and uh, go to streamlit and find for the new models I will show you so you can see the production models just go to there go to that and these are all the models that is being given so I'm using the Llama 3.31 use whatever you want these are the preview models but don't use them in the production so that's the case and once this is done go back to the code and you can change the model there and I'm returning, I'm returning the response and that response is being stored as the report and we are extracting the scores because we are getting the scores from the resume like report like 3 by 5 4 by 5 and all right we need an average score of that so for that I'm calculating the average score as it is out of 5 I'm using the 5 if this is a simple calculation mass calculation and next I'm going to just display the outputs that's all and this is for the changing the display for example if you want the uh, uh, let's just see that So this is the display so for this one this part because this is background is black and the text is white and these all things so the background color is black all zeros means black just go this is the hash value change it according to your wish and you will get the color you want and I'm not going to mess with that and that's it download button given by streamlet as well so this will report download the report and this is the end of the workflow did I miss anything no right and this is the extraction score extraction part that is we have to extract scores from this right but these scores are middle of the text this one this one this one so to extract this I'm using NLP for that we imported RE that is regular expression and this is the one to extract whatever a digit is before Phi like that like this just take that and return the pattern re that is a regular expression and so find all the patterns that matches the pattern and that's it we are written this course so that's the code for guys you can change anything you want either the background one or the model or the model or the in, uh, here I am using croc right instead of croc you can use, even use open AR or any similar model and here I am using the bird just remove it and use any model you want so that's it guys and now I am going to show you how you can deploy this into production so for that I am going to streamlit streamlit is providing the free deployment but it will be in the community cloud so 
it's for free so try the free trial and just log in and once you are logged in so you will see something like this I have already logged in so it's saying to create the app click on create so you have to link to the github repo and once the repo is uh, connected it will automatically get the text and just give the paths and here instead of this you have to keep main.py because that's our main file right so and you can change that so I'm just going to remove this it's saying this is not available okay so let's skip that and go to the advanced settings and here you have to paste the .env content this one just copy it and paste it just place them in the strings and this should be fine yeah now click on deploy that's it guys you will see the installations here click on manage app and you will see the process once everything is done the app will be deployed and you can directly use that anywhere like in mobile or in any laptop so that's all I'm going to wait until this process is finished and that's it guys the our app is deployed you can use it as you want that's the deployment and let's meet in the next video with a new project